All right, well, welcome back. So we're on our, in our third level of this Guitar Gate curriculum, and as you may have noticed, we are in a new venue. We're on stage. By this point, you guys are all pretty good. You know, you've been working, and you know, we're almost finished our diatonic harmony, and so you should be out, you should be playing gigs, you should be playing with people, and you know, really getting on the scene and trying to play live, you know, because it's a completely different skill you know, to play by yourself and practice and do, you know, with your loops and all that kind of stuff as it is going out and playing with people. So we wanted to finish up this course on a stage to represent, you know, that you should be out there actually playing with people. So our first lesson is about modes. Now modes, for some reason, freak everybody out. Everybody's worried about modes, you know, and they're so worried, you know, what are modes? How do, how do I play them? You know, like it's some crazy jazz thing. And while, you know, modes do work in a jazz scenario more often than not because they have a little bit of a different sound it's still diatonic harmony you know your major scale and you know your minor scale well like we know we have seven scale degrees in any scale our major scale we start and end that scale on one so if we're in the key of C major no sharps no flats we start and end it on C right we also know that our relative majors and minors start on the sixth degree so our A minor scale is the same as our C major scale. We just start and end it on A. So there's five more. That's it. So you have the set of notes. So for C major, you have C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And then you can start and end that scale on any one of those notes, and you can make that its own tonic. Now, the key here is not to always relate it back to the home key. For example, when you play A minor, you're not thinking to yourself, okay, I'm playing C major over A minor, right? That's an extra thought process. There's no, there's no reason to do that. While in the beginning, while you're learning, it helps, you know, to, to kind of correlate that to something you already know. It's important to learn each one of these scales as their own individual thing because they each have their own specific individual sound, and you don't want to have that extra step in the thought process. So let's go down the list for our modes. We all know if you start on one, that's major, also known as Ionian, right? If you start on two, this is what's called Dorian. Now Dorian has that, you know, that Carlos Santana feel, you know, it's a very cool sound. And if when you start and end your scale from the second scale degree, what you get is a one, a two, a flat three, a four, five, a six, and a flat seven. So essentially, it's a minor scale that you already know, but with the major six. That gives you kind of a, kind of a bright sound. The next one is Phrygian. Phrygian's when you start on the third scale degree. So when you make your scale off the third scale degree, you get a root, a flat two, which is an interesting sound, flat three, four, five, flat six, and flat seven. When you start it on the fourth, you get Lydian. Now, Lydian is a very bright sound. It's essentially the major scale you already know, but with a sharp four. So that's one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. Now, when you build it off the fifth scale degree, this is Mixolydian. Now, Mixolydian is a major scale, but with a flat seven. This is the scale that goes over your dominant chord shapes. Then six, as we know, is minor. The modal name for that is Aeolian, and of course that's 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, and flat 7. And lastly, we have Locrian. Locrian is the scale that's built on the 7th degree, which you know is the diminished chord. So everything's diminished. You have a root, flat 2, flat 3, 4, flat 5, flat 6, and flat 7. It's a very interesting sound. We're going to go through each one of these you know, as its own individual lesson and talk about progressions and uses for each one of these individual scales. But for right now, for this lesson, what I want you to do is take, take one chord, a one chord vamp. You know, we can do, let's pick A minor, right? And then what I want you to do is play whatever you want over that that's not A minor. So for example, let's say I choose to do A minor but it's in the key of G, right? So this would be a Dorian, right? It could be G major would be one, 
and A minor would be 2, would be A Dorian. And so you'd click your jam track, you know, your vamp, just do a one chord vamp, play A minor, and I have a bunch of other ones supplied up here, but play G major over the top. Now again, I know I told you that we're going to learn each one by themselves and focus on the intricacies of each scale, but for right now, I just want you to get used to the sound of thinking modal, you know, of, of thinking modal, because you have to remember, modes only exist in context. If you just play the scale, you know, starting on a different root, it's still going to sound like the same G major scale or any other major scale, just starting from a different root. But if you change the context of the chord that you're playing over, you're really going to get the flavor of each mode. So here we go. I'm going to do just that. I'm going to do a little A, a minor vamp, but I'm going to play the G major scale over it. And you'll hear how it's still major, but with that, because we're doing Dorian, the little different sound you're going to hear is going to be that major six. It's just going to brighten it up a little bit. So here is our, let's hit the looper. do a little G major. It's got a little different sound. And that's it. I really just want you to mess around with these jam tracks, take a couple one chord vamps, and try different modes of it. You know, it, you, know in a you could do A minor, but let's say you're doing it in the key of F, right? So you play an F major scale over the A minor, that would be A Phrygian, right? So just mess around with it, get used to the idea of modes, and again, we're going to go through each one, one by one, and break it down so they're not scary. This is diatonic harmony. You're not figuring anything else out. You're not trying to learn any new extensions or anything crazy, which we will get into. But for right now, just embrace modes. Modes are your friend. Good luck.